responsibilities. You have legal responsibilities. As a CMA, you are very responsible. If you make an error, guess what? It's on you. Even if you can kind of say it's someone else's fault, if they can trace it back where you should have known. For instance, if the drug was packaged incorrectly where you should have clearly known, um, it says one thing on one and one thing on another, that is, yes, yes, it was packaged, there, there was a discrepancy, yet you as a professional should have been able to see that and call that out. So don't think that you're working under a nurse protects you. No, you are a, res a professional and expected to be able to know and be responsible for legal issues such as this. Let's talk about a couple of these. In Kansas, now, when I say in Kansas, I want you to understand that Medaid is a little different from CNA. CNA, as you know, 75 hours of it is the same for all 50 states. States can add more to it and make it a little different, but for Medaid, it's all different. Every state, they, some states don't even have Medaids. Other states, Medaid is much more complex. It all depends upon the state. So in Kansas, and in Kansas alone, this, these are the rules. So your legal responsibility is you must work under a nurse, whether that be an LPN or an RN. You must work under a nurse. You can do, now, saying that, you may work in assisted living where there's not a nurse there at all times or in a home plus where a nurse is not on site all the time. You are still have to have supervision by a nurse on call, being able to reach them by telephone or something. You still have to work under a nurse, whether that be LPN or RN, whether or not they're in the facility at all times. Now, in a regular nursing home, they have to have a nurse there at all times. That's a requirement, okay? All right, next, what you cannot do in Kansas as a med aide, you must not administer any medication via puncturing the skin. Now, there's going to be a question on your test, and it's going to say something about what you cannot do. And one of them will be, as a medic, you cannot puncture the skin, true or false? Well, that would be false. Aha, you thought it was true. Nope, it's false. The reason for this is you can't puncture the skin because you're going to take blood sugars most most probably you're going to do glucose testing, dermal sticks. Sure, that's okay. It says administer medication by puncturing the skin. All right, so you can't give drugs by puncturing the skin via puncturing skin. All right, and then the other thing you cannot do, you must not receive a physician's order whether that be an A or an PPA, doctor, whoever, dentist, verbal. Now, verbal, we're talking about on the phone, in person, it has to be written. You can, by Kansas law, receive an order that is printed, written, like a fax or um, it comes over from the hospital and it's written. That That is actually okay. Now, I am not saying that it's okay for where you work. A lot of places do not have the Medaid take orders. That's the nurse's job. But legally you could. You would just need to look at your job description, your policies, remember that. You gotta look at what's okay at your place where you work. So keep that in mind. But per state of Kansas, these are the three things you have to remember. You must work under a LPN or RN. You must not administer medications via puncturing skin. And you must not receive a doctor's order, PA, ARMP, dentist, whatever, that is verbal. It has to be written. 